hi guys so here's my chicken that i'll be frying today so i'm just going to go ahead and add my seasoning to these pieces of chicken all right so this is some maggi all purpose and i am just going to be adding some to my chicken guys i will be putting the quantity of all the seasonings that i use and my ingredients down in the description below okay so now i'm going to add some black pepper just a dash of black pepper to add some spice to my fried chicken then i'm just going to add some jerk seasoning and this jerk seasoning is a mixture of spices it consists of pimento seeds and different seasonings and spices all right next i'm just going to add some paprika and remember i said before i will be uh, putting the ingredients and the quantity down in the description below all right so next i am going to add some garlic powder I'm just going to sprinkle mm -hmm. then I'm going to add some crushed pepper and if you can see this consists of a lot of pepper seed and remember I said this is going to be spicy this is a spicy fried chicken so I am adding just enough to kick up that spice and you can add the amount that you please if you don't like your fried chicken too spicy and I'm adding some hot and spicy jerk seasoning it depends on you guys this is optional you don't have to add the spicy jerk seasoning now I'm just going to sprinkle a little salt not too much just a little then I'm just going to combine my seasonings in the chicken so I'm stirring giving it a good stir and I'm using a fork to do this because remember I added so many spices to it and I don't want to get my hands in all right so look at it nice color and what I'm going to do now I am just going to cover with a piece of foil and then I'm going to set this into the refrigerator and allow it to marinate for two hours so stay tuned guys as we move on to step number two all right so here i have my flour and to my flour i'm just going to add some baking powder Then next I am going to add some paprika and guys I'm just repeating some of the steps that I did while I was seasoning the chicken I am just adding back some of the seasoning this is the all-purpose adding some crushed pepper adding some garlic powder also and 
and as I said I'm just adding some of the seasonings that I had already used on the chicken all right and just a tip of salt then I am going to mix these ingredients in the flour so I'm combining it and you want to ensure that you mix these in properly all right evenly so giving it a good mix so to this mixture I will be adding my chicken all right so this should be enough stirring and I'm just going to get my seasoned chicken and remember this was placed in the refrigerator for two hours all right so what I'm going to do, I'm going to add pieces of chicken to the flour mixture. All right. So here I have my oil and as you can see it's, it's hot and I added a few pieces of garlic to my oil. As you know I always add garlic to burn out the oil before I add my meat or whatever it is I am going to prepare in the oil. Alright. So I am just removing the pieces of garlic. And after doing so I'm just going to add my chicken and as you can see my oil is nice and hot and all ready for the chicken so I'm just adding them piece by piece and I'm going to just add four pieces of chicken to this and then I'm going to allow them to fry So what I did after this, I just turned my flame down to medium and allow my chicken to fry. So I am going to turn my chicken on the other side. Turning them over. And this piece is behaving a bit stubborn. All right. Got you. And guys, what I'm going to do now, I am going to cover the pot and allow it to continue fry. And I will be coming to check back on it. And guys, please remember to like my videos, leave a comment down below if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notification bell all right so I'm turning over my chicken again because I want to ensure that they are soaked properly and after a few minutes my chicken 
It's ready. So I'm just removing them from the oil and I am placing them on pieces of napkin so I can it can remove some of the oil all right and here we have it my spicy fried chicken done in the Latte Bless kitchen the Latte Bless way thank you guys for checking in on my channel thank you for your support and see you next time bye